Only you can prevent lost save data. Scoop up your shirt before August 4th. Link is on the screen and in the description below. What's good, YouTube? Apple 92 here, back again on to again today, people. Today, we're here for episode number 22 of our Pokemon Sweet Tooth and Nuzlocke. In the last episode, you guys, we made it here to Bunt City, made our way through Mount Candy as well. That's the name of it. And we know that in the Choco Mines, Chef Chop is waiting for us. But first, we have the next Battle Bakery, and we need to explore Bunt City a bit as well. So if you guys are hyped for today's episode, and of course, we want to show you support, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you already know it is greatly appreciated. Now, let us get a super fast mode. Uh, uh, recap of the team. That's not how I expected that to come out, but it just, you know, it, it was here and we're gonna deal with it. We have Minute Maid, the lime flavored lime shroom, level 36 with apple claw, ancient power, water gun, and protection. We have Hershey, our chocolate flavored Chocardos, level 40. Oh, I thought it froze for a second. The music in this town, like, cuts out instantly. I don't know what it is. Uh, but he's got Karate Chalk, Quick Attack, Fruit Punch, and Bubble. We have Juicy, the Vanilla Grape Flavored Shervern, level 40. Rocket Wing Attack, Swift Acrobatics, and Confuse Ray. We have Lemon Head, our Lemon Flavored Lemonja, level 40. Uh, Rocking Extra Sensory Gust, Dragon Pulse, and Horror Wind. We have Lavi Davi. That Lavi Davi, girl, shake that Lavi Davi. Our blue raspberry flavored tart, Tafferig, level 41 with Psychic Infection, Pie Beam, and Stomp. And last but not least, we have a Big Pumpkin, our apple flavored pie stories. The starter that you all chose for us to go on this adventure with, level 41 with Apple Claw, Water Pulse, Bite, and Withdraw. So, we need a little bit of tunes because for whatever reason, this shit just cuts out. Let's get. Oh, we, oh we've unlocked more? Did we, did we ever unlock more? Let's do the hole in. Alright, let's talk to these people. There's a special prize for beating these trainers. Try it out. They have to be trained somehow. Alright. Your score is one and one. It's about to be one and two, bitch. Apple Claw. Sucks to be you, bitch. Fury Cutter. Oh, it's our first lime flavored move. I think I'm going to get rid of Water Gun. It does the same amount of damage. It's not the same accuracy. But Fury Cutter, as we learned, it grows stronger with each successive hit. Holy fucking shit. Actually, is Blue super effective on anything that we're weak to? Let me double check. Is blue super effective on anything that we're weak to? We're weak to banana and lemon, and blue is not, so I don't give a fuck. We have Fury Cutter. I don't know why I kept Protect. I guess I just kind of wanted to keep Protect. Who knows? Uh, I've lost two times. Are you going to? Yes. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Yo, Fury Cutter this hoe. Ah! Lime is super effective. No, it's not. Why did it say it was super effective? I thought we were pure lemon. Oh, it's not very effective. That's what it said. Yikes. So what happens when you don't read, kids. I've won two times today. Are you number three? <laughs> Bitch. The answer is no. The answer is not just no, but hell no. I'm stunned. You worked them over faster than I did. Have this from me. What can I say? Oh my god. So if there's a tree in Bunt City, we can get a Bunt City encounter as well. But I want to slide through here. Alright, so that's going to lead us to the next town. I want to slide around and see. 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 Oh, see? It was a tree made out of chocolate root. You can cut that with a butter knife at least. I don't know what the fuck that means. I'll be 100% honest with you. I don't know what that means. Okay, so that's the Battle Bakery. Hello? That me. That me. I don't understand why I'm just chilling there. Give him a person berry? Sure. Huh, oh, thanks. Now let's what? There's a marble block in the soda in the bottle. No wonder I couldn't drink it. No what? Here you have them. I don't want them. Dope. We're just completing side quests? There is a tree, but we need straw manner to get to it. Fuck. I put him in the PC and everything. I was done with his ass. Soda pop, can I have it? Sure! Yes, have this from me. And I got eliminate! Yo, look at all these side quests that we're doing without even realizing we're doing them. Crazy. We're just that good at side quests, bro. Okay, so we need to get the... Smooth Strength Rock. Can I have some honey? Sure! Excellent, try some of these. Side quest motherfucking city, dude. Side quest motherfucking city, dude. Okay, so we've pretty much explored everything here. Let's go scoop up Strawmander real quick. And get a Bunt City encounter on the trees here. Let's see what we can pull. Pull! Pull that 
that shit. Let's see what we can get here. Survey says we're gonna push this bitch and slather this bitch. Mmm, yes, slather that motherfucking tree. Okay, so our bunt city encounter. Oh, hello, Mr. Flongoose. Hello, Mr. Flongoose. How are you doing today? Hi, how you do? How you do? How you feel? How you do? Mmm, Flongoose has been captured. I still miss the Tropius. I really wanted the Tropius. All the way back in Bakewell Island. Oh, look, he was right there. I really wanted that Tropius. Thick chocolate coats the outer layers of its body. It always has food nearby to keep hunger away. Mmm. Mmm. Give a nickname to this dripping wet flung goose. Mmm. My goodness. Chocolate all over its body. Mmm. 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 Yo. I'm gonna name this thing appropriately. This is actually a wrestler from Lucha Underground, but it's still this, he's got chocolate all over his body. Got chocolate, he's just dripping. Mmm, yes, oh yes, there's chocolate all over his body. And I don't understand why, yo, Sweet Tooth, inventors, directors, ROM hackers, I'm telling you, bro, we need to sit down and have a talk. We gotta sit down and have a talk. I've been saying this so many times, but we need to sit down and have a talk. Yo, let's check out Sexy Star. I feel like we're going to need Charmander again for the next route. I just had this bad feeling that it's gonna we're gonna need it. Okay, so let's see here. It's naughty nature, orange and chocolate. Oh, that's an interesting duo. We haven't had that before, have we? With immunity, and it's naughty nature, which ups special defense and lowers attack. That's terrible. That's terrible. The moveset's okay, but that nature is terrible. Absolutely terribly. All right, we've made Blunt City our bitch. Let's roll up in this gym and do the same. Yo, champ in the making. You want to challenge the leader? You gotta make it to him. Trainers in here challenge you on the site, so watch it. Oh, and if you leave, they'll heal their teams when you're gone. You gotta beat them all in one go. Bro, you act like I give a shit about anything. I'll battle all these motherfuckers right here. I'm trying to get my motherfucking. Oh, it's not very effective. How about that? I'm trying to get my motherfucking Minute Maid leveled up, bitch. Intimidate me. Intimidate me three times. Minute Maid is well trained. Minute Maid is well fucking trained. What is the point in... What is the point in designing the gym like this if it really doesn't make a difference at the end of the day? If I can literally just walk around... I thought it was going to be like the Fuchsia City gym where it was like walls and shit that you couldn't get through. But haha, -ha, guess what? It's not like that at all. Pops at you? Why would you paralyze me, bitch? You stupid fucking bitch. Why would you paralyze me? Hmm. Paralyze heal. So is this an orange flavored gym? Haha. Uh -huh. Well, I'm gonna save my game. Because only you can prevent lost save data. So make sure you save your game before any craziness goes down. And I'm trying to get Minute Maid evolved! Ah! Oh, a challenger! Terribly sorry, I'm all out of tea. We'll have to take care of the battle before we talk. I do hope you like ice cream. I do hope you like foot in your ass. Cause that's where it's going. Leader Sophia. Oh, she's got a flongoose. I think this is an orange flavor, Jim. Mm, all right, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah, I should have protected to scout him out. It's not very effective. Hey, how about you stop being a dick? I actually wanted that citrus berry. Piece of shit. Let me see. And it kills. See, that's the power behind Fury Cutter. That's brains helping you with your brawn. Pops at you. Alright, Pops at you. Bring that Pops of ass out here and catch this fucking apple claw, you bitch. Actually, I should just Fury Cutter it again. Either way. Apple's super effective in this orange hellhole. Mm. I just want Minute Maid to hit level 39. That's all I want. Migum? You really just have a Migum, bro? That's all you got? You just have a Migum? You think I'm scared of your Intimidate, bitch? I should have protected. That would have been the smart play to make. Mm -hmm. Check me out, bro. Full Migum fainted. Chief Megum. Ah, my ice cream melted. I was too focused on battling you to eat it. That's pretty impressive. I'd like you to have this medal. Yo, I just had another brain blast. You got the cream medal. 
Hmm, thanks. Thanks. There are eight medals you can win from battle bakeries all over the region. I'm sure you can collect all of them. Do huh, you have questions? Huh, all right, what would you like to know? I do know where to get the best milk for ice cream. Huh, you're not interested? Well, that's a relief. Huh, what's this? That's the biggest strawberry I've ever seen. So you want to use it to make your poke sweets stronger? Poke sweets become stronger the more delicious they are. However, sometimes it takes human utensils to really power them off with the rain. Okay, so two brain blasts. So that means that whoever the second gym leader that we fought on our original route should want to rematch now that we know how to use our mega big pump, right? And at the same time, I just had a brain blast. Last episode, we were talking about the route that we took through the region. I think the Sweet Tooth people knew what they were doing. Because when you get over here, they give you the other starters. Right? So, and I mentioned this too. I jokingly, I said, yo, I should have made a whole new team to go through this with. Because it would have been just as challenging then. I actually kind of regret not doing that now. I kind of regret not doing that. I kind of regret just keeping the team we have and just steamrolling these kids all for the sake of the badges. I feel like we should have remade a new team. I mean, hindsight is 2020. But imagine, like, if we had a team that had big fudge on it. That would have been a lot of grinding. I don't know if I would have been able to do that with this trip that I'm going on. Right now, as you guys are watching this, I'm 3,000 miles from home visiting family on the East Coast. So I don't know if that would have been possible at this point in time. If I wasn't traveling, then maybe I would have been like, okay, I'll grind up a whole new team just for the sake of going through here and it being challenging. That would have been really, really dope. And then we could have had a whole new team with Strawmander to take this northern path too. That would have been so dope. If you're a content creator watching this, or if you're just a viewer and want to try it for yourself, by all means, I'd recommend that. They give you the starters after your first route, so go back into the other routes with your new starters. That would have been dope. Maybe that was their intention. Maybe that was their intention. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Anyways, we just made Bunt City our bitch, and I'm, to be 100% honest, I kind of want to... Why? Yo, Bunt City is the glitchiest town in this game. Hands down. Hands down it is. I've never done more resets than in Bunt City. Okay, so Route 16, which I think we already have an encounter for. No, we don't, because we went down to the Pumpkin Woods from here. Can we get back to the Pumpkin Woods? Who the fuck is this? What up, ugly bitch? What is he, Susan? Exemel. What? What in the absolute fuck is this? Candilla. Yo, that's the first time I've seen it execute. Okay, so we don't have a Route 16 encounter just yet. So I definitely want to get a Route 16 encounter. Yo, can you stop with the, like, trying to fuck me up, bro? Because you're really not doing all that great at it. Dig him? Like, dig this dick, bro. Route 16 encounter is... Oh, JK. I got out of the grass. Damn, that nigga saw me from far away. Fury cutter, that hope. <laughs> He's got to He's got to evolve. I'm so excited. Q-pop, die. I've been training this bitch this whole time. Bro, first encounter. Oh! It's a Flonzy. Ah, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Yo, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. I'll use an ultra ball for you. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the fucking ball. Yes. Flonzy was caught. Look at him. It remembers every dream it eats. It really eats the dreams of adults because children are much tastier. Of course they are. Give a nickname to Flonzy. What are we nicknaming this Flonzy? Bro. What are we nicknaming this Flonzy? I'm trying to think of like a candy play on words for Hong. But I can't think of one. Yo, I got it, I got it, I got it. It's hungry. He's hungry. Vingula, Vine, 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 Bro, it's a red vines. Bro, I'm actually kind of sad that Minute Maid has not evolved. Uh, if fucking Pokedex says. Whatchamacallit evolves into 
whatchamacallit at level 39. Boom gets into a Moogus at 39. What in the fuck, dude? You know, I actually defended you. I stood up for you. I was like, nah, we're not going to kick you out of the party. Because I actually really want to see you evolve and see what you evolve into. Oh, we do need strength. I don't know. It's just to get into the chocolate or to the pumpkin woods, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I don't think we need to go down there necessarily. Flanzi. It's so adorable. Look at him. You want to fight, bitch? It's safe now? Thanks. Hmm, I wish I had a donut bike like theirs. We used to have these as thanks. I guess you're supposed to come from the pumpkin woods and speak to her, and she's like, oh, there's bikers over there. And I gotta go beat the biker's ass. Alright, cool. Chocolate, I want chocolate. In that mine, there's chocolate. The hikers, they won't share. You go, you get it, right? Oh, I forgot about the other candy person. Were we supposed to go back and talk to them? So, like, if we go in here and we get chocolate, will they give us chocolate or something? I don't, I don't know. My child has gone to the chocolate mine. He hasn't returned. What could have happened? Yo, I'm actually really nervous to go into the chocolate mine. Trubbent? Bro. Pokemon Sweet has some of the best sprites I've ever fucking seen in my life. I don't give a fuck. They really do. I want to get I want to get Minimade to 40 real quick. Before we go into the chocolate mine. I'm nervous to go into the chocolate mine. Because it's like... <sighs> like, what if I go in there and we don't get a chef chop? Gumble? That was from the first game. We had one of those. Like, what if we go in here and we don't get a fucking chef chop? All of our hard work is for nothing, then. And I really, really, really would like to get a chef chop. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If there's one mon, like, more so... Torchalk? Bro, they put every fucking mon in this game, dude. They put every fucking mon in this game. This is insane. If I go into this mine... <gasps> Panpuff? Why are there so many dope mods on this route? What the fuck? Bro. But yeah, if we go into this mine and I don't get a chef chop, I'm gonna be really fucking sad. Because it, outside of, like, Big Pump and all the starters, I don't think there's one mod that I've seen so far that I want more than chef chop. Like, I'm really happy we got Flonzie, don't get me wrong. But chef chop is gonna be fucking lit. I will find- Yo, if, we, if I get this nigga up to level 40 and he doesn't hit this shit, I'm, I'm putting Chef Chop on the team. On the team. Minute Mate is getting fucking replaced in a heartbeat. How did you get outsped? How did you get outsped? Did you miss your Apple Claw? Come on now. I just need you to hit level 40, bro. You can OCO everything on this route. I know you can. I got faith in you. I've trained you up. I've made you a wise, smart, well-trained Minute Maid. But you're failing me right now if you don't fucking evolve. There it is. It said 38 or 39, so why would you make... I don't understand. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Why would you make it level 40? Why would you increase level by one? Look at this nigga all grown up. Look at him. A shroom pie. The minute made is a shroom pie now. Ooh. Ooh. Now he fits on the team more. Now he fits on the team better. He's not this little tiny Pokemon. Look at that defense, though. Mmm, yummy. Yummy. Alright, I'm about to go back and heal. I'm, I'm really scared. I just have to put the thought out of my mind. Put the thought out of my mind. I'm not worried about it. We're gonna get a Chef Chop. We're gonna get a Chef Chop. We're gonna get a Chef Chop. I'm scared. I'm scared. I can't do it. We're gonna wrap up today's episode right here. If you guys enjoyed, and of course you're gonna show your support, make sure you smash that like button down below for us because you already know it is greatly appreciated. And the next episode, call this the super cuck, the scaredy cuck, if you want. And the next episode, we're gonna see if we can get a fucking chef chop in this cave because I really, really want a fucking chef chop. 
Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, and of course, if you want to show your support, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you already know it's greatly appreciated. But until next time, I'm Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye!